Carl Quintanilla pressed CEO Kevin Burns on the issue of teen addiction to jeweling in a recent visit to the jewel factory. If we did this tour today with a parent, right, of a teen who'd been using or who had been addicted, how would you, how would you sort of defend all this, all this scale, all this production, all this growth? First of all, I tell them that I'm sorry that their child's using the product. It's not intended for them. Uh, I hope there was nothing that we did that made it appealing to them. As a parent of a 16-year-old, I'm sorry for them and I have empathy for them in terms of what the challenges are going through. Burns hopes jeweling turns out to be less risky than smoking, but admits there are real concerns about the impact of chronic vaping. Frankly, we don't know today. We have not done the long-term longitudinal clinical testing that we need to do. And Carl uh, joins us now uh, with more on America's e-cig e addiction. I feel like you're in the wrong seat here, Carl. This is <laughs> a little bit weird. But uh, thanks for joining us. I mean, all the, all the clips all day have been awesome. Looking forward to the full thing, 10 p.m. tonight. The, some of the clips earlier showed the other side, where, where you speak to people who have been addicted to cigarettes for decades, and this has been their savior. Yeah, it's true. Uh, you know, and, and we should say, Kevin Burns is not a co-founder. It wasn't his idea. He didn't design the product. He's a manufacturing guy. He's been brought into get it to scale. Uh, but he's having to answer for a lot of practices that they had in the old days that served hyper growth. Those included marketing that critics say got kids interested with music and bling and social media and all of that. So he's having to get this thing uh, going as an adult in the room and answer for a lot of past practices. That's why uh, this is sort of a pivot for them. And, and you know, there are investors going to say in Jewel, right? So clearly they have in mind a, a total addressable market size, some assumptions about adoption rates, how early people are going to do it and how long they're going to continue. And I wonder how that plays into this idea that they're saying, look, it's not intended for younger people. Right. Well, the fear is that people end up not quitting their cigarettes and just jeweling when they're indoors, jeweling when they're in a non-smoking zone. One of the first numbers he gets every day, every, every uh, Friday, I think it is, is the Nielsen rolling tobacco sales in the U.S., which, if you look at a chart, is literally going off a cliff into double digits negative territory. So that, to him, that's, that's a, a proof of performance. If, if, in fact, those are people who are using, sticking with it, maybe because of flavors, keep them interested, and eventually stop having to light up. Does the science, has the research caught up with the actual phenomenon? And I ask that as we get these headlines from Dow Jones that the FDA commissioner is ready to accelerate the review of e-cigarettes and other new tobacco products. How much do we actually know? I think, well, we need time for some of these long-term studies. I thought the FDA headlines today were really interesting because mm -hmm. we thought they were going guns blazing. We're going to take this industry to task. Gottlieb resigned seemingly out of nowhere, and then it kind of left was left unresolved. So if they really are sort of back in the market of uh, pushing forward deadlines, saying, look, if you want to sell, you, we need to see your approval requests. That's going to be a, a, a bit of a, a gut check for the industry. And Carl, just remind us, where are we globally on this? The title, of course, is America's e-cigarette addiction, but you've traveled elsewhere. Is this a, 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 a factor that applies in other countries? You know, Europe, they obviously we talked about, made some headway. Um, India, China are sort of that's the pot at the end of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. If you can crack that market, that's going to be a game changer. But those are still very early days. So if they can sort of massage this public policy gauntlet here, change some minds domestically, then we'll start talking about it more as an international story. Carl, great stuff. Thanks very much. Thanks, Congrats. Guys. We look forward to the full documentary, yeah. uh, Vaporize, America's e-cigarette addiction. That's tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific on CNBC.